Okay, we are going to take a break. When we come back, Maxim from Dancing with the Stars, he will be with us talking about uh, what he's doing now. Getting away from dancing, is that a good move for him? And what does he want to do? I mean, everybody wants to see him dance, right? Shirtless? Maybe he will be when we come right back. Welcome back to TMZ Live. Everybody knows him from Dancing with the Stars. Uh, he was the, the bad boy of the ballroom, Maxim Chemerkovsky. Uh, but Max is moving on from dancing now. Got himself some acting uh, chops. And uh, he's starting off in a music video. We got the clip we posted on the website. Take a look, it's called To Your Boots Are Dirty. <laughs> What? That is, uh, <laughs> his boots weren't dirty. Wait, we didn't see his, his boots dirty yet. So there's something to this because <laughs> Maxim wants to, it seems, kind of get away from the whole Dancing with the Stars thing, although there he is dancing on the country, uh, on, the, on the music But he's video. not doing, well, actually, yeah, he's got to do a little he's dancing doing a little still. Dancing. They, you got to, it's baby steps. So he's joining us right now to find out what's up with this. Maxim, welcome to TMZ Live. How are you guys? We're good. So, uh, is this kind of your uh, foyer into acting? Uh, I, I mean, I guess it wasn't much acting there. I literally had fun. I've never been to a country farm, and uh, I had no idea that <coughs> you eat watermelon by, with with salt on top of it. So, it was an educational <laughs> experience. But uh, I also never rode a horse before. Really? Uh, you never rode a I horse? I just want to go on the record that this was not my choice of attire. I. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dress that way, but, that, uh, but yeah, no, it was interesting. That's what happens, Max, when you're acting. You know, you show up on set and you just got to wear whatever they give you. Listen, I'm just happy. I'm just happy that I'm not being asked to take my clothes off. Maybe just for a well, second. Well, you, hold on. You did take your clothes off, but, well, your shirt anyway, in the music forward. video. There was a line about skinny dipping and, you, you know, <laughs> you could play it out, so. Okay, but that does kind of get into what we kind of thought was interesting here, which is that you seem to be making a beeline away from Dancing with the Stars, and the way I'm reading it is, is that you don't want to get typecast as that guy on a ballroom floor because there's not necessarily a shelf wipe for that in the media. The realization is that, you know, I'm 34, and I live with this body, and I dance for 30 years. It takes its toll. So there's certain things that start to ache and hurt that you realize it's not gonna go away if you keep dancing. So what is that next step? I mean, you've done you a music like, video here. I you mean, do you, auditions. What What are you doing? Are you going out and 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 meeting casting agents and reading? I feel like acting is now something that I'm interested in because of the, some friends that I met, because some people that I met in the industry. I spent, you know, we did spend the last eight and a half, nine years in L.A. in that society, in that circle. But I got I gotta ask you something, and and maybe I'm crazy about this and just dreaming it up. But I remember 10 years ago, I thought you had a pretty thick um, accent. accent. And well, it's, that and was it, 10 years ago. I, I know, but there are a lot of people like Arnold Schwarzenegger who never loses it. And Maxim, I gotta tell you, I'm listening to you right now, and I'm actually a little bit shocked. I hear nothing. I mean, it's like- Thank you, I do, I do put an effort um, just to be, you know, just to broaden your spectrum, you have to be able to you know. Well, to acclimate, and you, and you really did. I mean, it really is amazing. As I was listening to you just now, I thought, wow, I remember you when we used to get you out at the clubs eight years ago, and your accent... <laughs> and you go, you, what did he just say? Yeah, what did he just what say? He say? <laughs> <laughs> and now it's, uh, it, I swear to God, it's, yeah. it's undetectable. You know, but then you have a little bit of Russian, a little bit of Brooklyn, and a little bit of liquid courage, and you obviously don't... <laughs> oh, there you go. There you Maxim, go. Maxim, how, how are you, fella? They pick on me for my accent as well, bro, so don't worry about it. Hey, another person who's seemingly making a, a transition from their profession to acting is uh, a lady by the name of Kate Upton. I just wanted to kind of pick your brain and see uh, what's going on there between you two. Uh, we're great friends, actually. I'm very happy. But listen, you got to look out for this girl. She's going to blast off and be a huge star, and... As, as far as her personality, business sense, and business mind that she has at her young age, um, but she's definitely going to blow up to be whatever she wants to be. Okay. All right. Hey, I, I, I do have one other question. Can, can you, are, are you, like, platonic friends with women? <laughs> Is that, that possible? Can you be a platonic friend I'm with a, a woman, I'm Maxim? I'm a perfect gentleman. I'm a perfect gentleman, and uh, as... You know, with my beliefs, with my morals, with the way I was brought up, my type of family, you know, there's, uh, it's coming to the point where there's gonna have to be one for me, the one and only, and I'm ready. 
Uh, I'm ready to settle down, ready to have a family. But until that happens, I'm very nice. <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to, you're very nice. Thank you, everyone. All to everyone. Is what you <laughs> Max, you're good luck. Hey, listen, we're out of luck, but man. good luck to you, man. It's really good talking to you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. All right. When we come back, uh, they were the toast of the Grammys. They were on stage seemingly uh, nonstop all night, but nobody ever got to see their faces. Talking about Daft Punk. Well, they were at LAX, and guess what? You can't go through TSA with those helmets on. And we got pictures. Yeah. <laughs>